So today you're going to be taking your shapes that you brainstormed and you're going to think about how these shapes can become a maquette. A maquette is an arrangement of shapes okay, that forms the body and figure of a character. So we're going to look at some maquettes that I've made and then I'm going to walk you through making one. So this one this maquette started with this body and you can see that I was inspired by this shape here. And I decided to tilt the body because I knew I wanted my character to be doing something. So the first thing I did was I drew a line at a tilt and then I drew the shape around it. You can see the shape is slightly different because I refined the shape I wanted. Then I wanted to add some legs to the body and I chose this shape for the legs. Again, I drew the legs. I first drew a guideline at the angle I wanted to place the legs at, and then I drew that shape around that line. Okay. As I was developing this character, it started to remind me of a tree. And so the next thing I did was I was gonna put the feet on the legs, but I decided to change the shape into more of a leaf shape down here. And you can see I'm, again, changing the shape ever so slightly, but being inspired, but by those original shapes I drew. Okay. Now, then I added in the second leg, and because this leg is in front, this one is slightly shorter and behind. It's, you wanna pay careful attention, not only to what shapes you're combining, but at what angles you're drawing them, at what size you're drawing them, and where they're placed. Okay. Next, I came up here and decided to do the neck. I wanted to do, I knew I wanted to do some kind of long neck shape, and so I elongated a cone. And for the head, I decided to do a simple circle. I put guidelines where I wanted the eye to be. This will be the circle is for the ear, the circle is for the eye, eyebrow. And I changed the shape of that circle by leaving this dent for a hole. Then I added on a shape for the nose. Okay. And then I decided to add something else on top. And so I, over that circle, I added this shape and it looked like a hat to me. So I added a little tail for one of those kind of like raccoon hats. So as I'm drawing, I'm starting to think about what my characters can become, okay? Then I started looking at this as a whole and it started to feel like me, like it was a tree. So I went back to the arms and added on some shapes, some organic shapes of tree branches. I should note, look at these circles here on the leg, on the arms. Those are my circles are marking where the arms will come out of. They're the joints. So that's the shoulder joint. That's the hip joint. Okay. And then adding on the leaf shapes for the hands. This one I curved because I had the idea that this tree figure would be carrying a bird cage. And so I, again, used this shape that I used for the hat. I repeated it down here to create the shape of a bird cage. Okay. Moving on, again, I it's good to think, am I gonna start with the body? Am I gonna start with the head? The first drawing I did, I started with the body. And on this one, I started with the head and I just drew a basic circle. Again, I put that center line to give it dimension, a line for the eyes, a line for the mouth. I then added these half shapes that reminded me of a bumblebee here. And then I decided to come back and add some more shapes to the face. I didn't want to just draw a bumblebee character, so I added these exaggerated mouse ears. And so I'm going off script now. I'm really thinking creatively about what shapes I want to add. Okay. Then I thought tentacles. Who doesn't love a tentacle? So I drew, and they're erased, but I drew circles here and here for the joints where they grow out of and I drew lines through, and then I drew the tentacles around those lines, okay? So now I'm gonna start drawing my third character. And I'm just gonna walk you through my creative process. I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. I'm thinking about shapes, and I'm gonna start, I think, with this shape here. Okay, so I'm drawing this shape and I'm thinking it's gonna be dimensional. 
kind of reminds me of a toaster. Be kind of funny. I'm now I'm thinking of like Jack in the Box. So I'm going to think about how can I incorporate that idea that just popped into my head into this shape. So I'm going to widen it a little. It would need, if it's going to be Jack in the Box, it's going to need a toaster lever, which looks really bad right there. I'm going to come back to that. First, I'm going to get my basic character and then I'll come back to that detail. So sometimes you're, you have an idea and it's going to take a lot of refinement. And then I'm just kind of playing with shapes here. It has to be something thin. Am I going to make a toast head? That could be fun. Okay. So then I'm kind of thinking, oh, but I'm drawing a diamond. I kind of turned that piece of toast on its side. And this is interesting. Maybe this is actually a hand or a flipper coming out of this creature. And then maybe I'll put a pole in here and maybe inside here I'm going to see some eyes. So the characters re on this one's really developing based on experimentation, which is what artists really want to do, is just experiment with your creativity and see what you come up with. Not everything is fully planned out before you start it. I'm thinking later, maybe this creature is gonna have some details. And it you don't have to put in details, but if you get a good detail, it's nice to start. And now I gotta think about legs. I'm just going to go with some basic shapes that I've drawn here for the legs. So far I really like this one. And remember these legs are behind so they're shorter. I have to think about where they're coming off of. And now I need to think about what kind of leg foot could I attach to these legs? What kind of creature? And I'm using this little cloud shape. For now, I don't know if I like it yet. I'm gonna see. It's not my favorite. It doesn't particularly sing to me. So I'm going to erase. Maybe just booties. Mm, again, I think I could be more creative. So this is where you're gonna get really as you're figuring out who your character is, you really want to be specific and detailed and less random. So, oh, I want to give it a tail, but the tail's going to be the cord of the toaster. And what does that look like over here? The little prongs. I'll probably go back and refine this and really look at what the wire would look like with the prongs. Study one in reality but for now because this is a maquette I'm gonna just add it in and then later I can go back and do it oh he's getting cuter hmm all right next I really do need to think and now I'm looking at this I feel like I need something dimensional on the bottom so now I'm thinking this triangle might be good for feet the question is do we do the triangle inverted? So he's standing on points, or do we do it this way? And it will repeat this triangle here, and using repetition in character design, repeating shapes, is a good thing. Um, it creates harmony in your drawing. So, let's see. How can this go together? I'm going to round it here. Oh, and now it feels like it's the stand. And so the legs kind of feel mechanical as well. I like that. Bring this down. Do the same again, making it shorter because it's behind. And then I want to think about how these would line up. So I'm bringing this down here, making sure these are kind of on the same plane. 
and these do not line up. So now I need to erase this and rethink this. So does this need to come down a little? Probably, so I'm bring it down to here. And then this one, if I imagine, it's gonna be a little bit further over. So I'm really thinking about placement to make sure these make sense. Okay. And so this character is tending to get a lot of detail in it, right? My maquette has taken on more of a character than, say, the other ones, which is okay. Some are going to be more refined, others are going to be and finished, and others are going to be less refined. But I'll still have a lot to add to this one. Like, what is this? How can I add to this? How can I make the toaster look more toastery? Maybe I need to put some toes here. I have some decisions that I can work with later as we go in and refine and further develop our maquette with details. I've already started details in the face, but I may want to change. This seems pretty generic, so for now I'm just gonna leave the space for the eyes. And I'm really gonna think about um, what that what I can do with this space right so I've got my basic shapes in and now it will be about character development so you're gonna make a minimum of three maquettes and then you're gonna upload your three best ones to Google Classroom